Navi javelins up on that sea or up on that T side. Yeah. They've faced each other on Nuke before, but in very different circumstances. It's CS2 now. Curious to see if we'll see any of those funky smoke grenades from either side. Navi make their way towards that B-bomb site. They do not need to commit to this, though. They can pull rotation, they'll open the door, they'll go further than that as Ana is waiting, starts to peek now. Look at that spam, filling the inboxes as best she can, the no. knife is out, and no one's paying attention! That was so close, Lino on 4 HP! It is far too early for such things, Watershed is nowhere near. Three on three now, as Cat tries to take this bomb site back from Navi before they can even think about planting this bomb. Hanka being careful with the final bullets. It is such a nervous situation for them. Hanka versus two now, and she will be denied another pistol for Nygma Galaxy. Chaos though, disrespect from Nygma Galaxy. And almost Navi Javelins had a bit of a glimpse to try and take that back home because again, those players on Nygma Galaxy were incredibly low too. But the numbers are not lying. That is another pistol in the pocket for Nygma Galaxy. And well, if you're a fan of them, you couldn't be any happier with this start. Such a strong advantage to find success pistol after pistol. Navi having to really do things the hard way then. T side of Nuke as well. We'll see what they have in store later on. For now, it is going to be a shooting gallery. It's target practice for Enigma Galaxy versus a Glock squad. There is a Desert Eagle, though, for Letty. $700 spent. Full focus from Enigma Galaxy. Oh, the two leaves as well. Anna just saving up some cash here for that orb to come out. And the desk was already highlighting, you know, when that comes out, oh man, we could have a very scary Nick Galaxy into the mix. And even though there's good damage dealt, there's no kill to be found here for Nelvi Javelins. A clean round coming through from Nygma Galaxy. Once more, the conversion taken home. And now that third round, Nelvi Javelins need to bring the heat, bring that test for Nygma Galaxy to overcome. Can they do so? Anna on the AWP already. Already. Feel like she might enjoy herself on this map. She'll be roaming around. Always a nasty surprise to discover where she is. All right then, Fjolgaard getting started early. No respect being shown whatsoever. We're champions for a reason. Give me a reason not to do what I'm doing right now, says Vilga. Looking to take the game away from Na'Vi. That may open up some opportunity, but Letty's got nine HP. <laughs> no, never mind. Never mind. Anna's going to shut that one down real quick. Just pull the power out of the back of the PC there. You blink, and before you know it, she's around the corner, shooting you right through the head. Arno certainly is not playing around, but Nina's Vilga, she goes aggressive into lobby, really making sure that Na'Vi cannot play their own game, cannot pick up their pace whatsoever. And once more, Nigma Galaxy lead by three. Send Na'Vi back to some pistols. They are upgraded, though, a bunch of deagles. 5-7 with Viku. It's so, it's so smart for... Phil got to play in that fashion early as well. They want to set the temperature in this room. They're not going to allow Na'Vi in a place of comfort on Nuke to set up around to play they want to play. We talk about, you know, everyone says play their own game when, they, when it comes to interviews, and that does have meaning, especially when you see that example where Vilga is not going to allow them to do that. She wants to take the game to them, not allow them to feel comfortable, to feel relaxed. Nygma Galaxy will be breathing down their necks. This whole game, it's theirs to win. Clean shot, Balina, but 
Sigma Galaxy will make sure that the damage kept at a minimum. Keep it rolling. And the money is already looking so good as well. Two players, almost 9k in the bag. We'll buy up some extra util though. Make sure everything is there to fight against yet again another bar round here by the Javelins. Two AKs on the CT side. And again, Na'Vi Javelin start cold. Speaking of cold, Angelka with a zero on her kill column. She's been such an important team uh, player for the team up to this point. Is it a trap they're walking into? They've got the numbers to trade, but again, Vilga can go through the smoke whenever she wants. And Jelka just looking the wrong way at the wrong time. And that margin gives such a big advantage to Enigma Galaxy. That was the jewel. They've got to go and hunt the bomb, even if they get these kills here. They've got to go and rescue that bomb. And Vilga's just playing with all this experience, all the angles she wants. Griefing Na'Vi as they desperately try to find a grasp of this game. One minute for Viku. Anna could be anywhere, though. This is like a horror movie. Take one wrong turn, and you're going to have a jump scare, Viku. 50 seconds to figure it out. Oh. And it's the dual ease for Anna, just lurking like a monster in the deep. Yeah, no matter if there's noise being made, Anna continues to show up full confidence with the duelies in hand, not messing around. And neither is Vilga. Once again, she is so good when it comes down to the setups, the execution off of it waits to the perfect time to creep through that smoke outside and the impact of it all. It's not the first time we've seen this come out from Nick Galaxy. But their strap book is deep. They brought everything to the table over here on Nuke. Vilka's so good in these positions. Because of the experience she has, how long she has played Counter-Strike, the different iterations and so on, all that XP, all that wisdom comes through and just allows you to outplay people who have a shallow history in comparison. That's why she's so good for those positions. Abusing a wealth of knowledge. They started 0-6 in the first map. This is their pick, Na'Vi, and they are currently 0-4-5. Nothing doing, really. No notable action in these rounds from Na'Vi just yet. Maybe to, looking to wrap here, oh. but Tori catches Lena, just mispositioning her gun. That smoke wasn't as deep as she thought, and that will be free for Enigma Galaxy. This might just be another nothing round for Na'Vi. They used a Molotov earlier up on Tori to force her out of position, but no one really there to pick her up from outside just yet. But they go the other way. Hope to overwhelm towards ramp. Arna is there though, repositions has the perfect angle to deal with that push. And even this, they're ready for hell to be pushed as well. One for one. Cat still here at the bottom of the ladder. And with Viku low, that's another frag being picked up. And from outside, from the heavens, comes 23, locks it in. And I'm starting to get a bit of a deja vu. They will need the support because they are not doing well at the moment. They barely have a foot on terra firma here. This is just e easy. It's an unfortunate situation around the smoke, but... They've got to pull their socks up and run a tight ship, Na'Vi Javelins, because this could be over before it's hardly even begun the way things are going. It almost feels worse than in the, the Zero Six on Inferno. There just hasn't been a challenge yet. Pistol scattered across the map for Na'Vi here. Good chunk of firepower, you two alongside of it as well to disrupt these CTs. Taking their time, waiting for response out of Nigma Galaxy, perhaps too little contact already made. Someone gonna make a mistake thus far though, Nigma Galaxy being incredibly patient.
focusing on the execute. Chain flashes will be important. Do Enigma Galaxy expect? 23 continuing to jiggle. Even with the util, it's not going to be easy. You can see Tori is simply waiting to respond. She drops that into the hut in time. Look how easy that is. There is nothing to be done there. It would be a suicide run. Those mollies will all expire at the same time. There's the flash. The chain flashes might be the one to do it, actually, if they can spread enough, but they can't. Still stuck in the choke point. Three on three, 19 seconds. They need to run and die. They need the lost bonus there. They need to run to their doom. Anna now the only one versus Viku with 13 HP. <laughs> How about that for a one tap? Can't believe that half of her kills have been with Dooley's. Absolutely wild. That the doesn't say anything good about what's happening on the other side of that stage. For sure. This is perhaps looking even more dire. And this is their map pick. Na'Vi need to step it up. Perhaps call a timeout. Calm yourself down. Look at what is going wrong. I fix it. Or else this best of three is going to be over very, very quickly. I would suggest that everything is going wrong at the moment. They're not really getting the engine started in any of these rounds. They made inroads towards the A bomb site, but again, just just pedestrian frags revealing themselves on the corner of smokes. And that fierceness is nowhere to be seen on Angelka. That is a very different face we're seeing. The one all the fans are fond of. Long gone for the time being. 0-7 on Nuke. They've come so far as a team. Not just in this in this weekend's action, not just in this season, but this whole year, this whole this year-long journey to this point. The things they've learned. The batterings they've taken versus Nigma Galaxy specifically to rise and rise again and come back a stronger team. But all that seems to have turned to dust in this final. Bilgas found an answer outside though, even though Arna dropped. But they continue to put the pressure up, up on that B ramp. Hope that that perhaps could be the answer. What has been going wrong? But decisions still yet to be made. Is this really where we want to commit? There's so much time still left. Hope to sneak down secret, perhaps scrunch down this lower bomb site, but Tori is ready for it. They've got too many women on road. Too many. Filga can entertain. She's wasting their time, even if she dies there. And she'll take one with her as well. Allows her teammates to reposition and exploit Navi Javelins once again. You start to wonder if any rounds will be claimed in this half by Na'Vi, who have not been close to any of these rounds. Now the start is good. They get that opening pick on uh, on Anna outside. And you think, okay, now Na'Vi can start a ramp up. But then in the mid to late rounds, hesitant. Not sure where to take that bomb towards, how to set foot up onto a bomb site. But that hesitance is really coming at a large cost. Dilga, look at the range she has. Not terribly concerned with the action in secret. Can't plant the bomb there. They will respond accordingly and they are better equipped. Looking to the remainder of this half, honestly. I cannot think of something which has been good for Na'Vi. Vilga doing whatever she wants. The M4A4 as well. Plenty of bullets where those came from. Anna will easily pick up the slack. Bomb plant is almost meaningless. It will, if it was a force buy, it would help them buy it again. But it's just some pistols, a few bits and bobs. You have to wonder now if Na'Vi Javelin's arms are too short to box with God. 
Yeah, and this is such an uphill battle mentally too. What do you do? You have a map down. Your second map, your map pick. The place where you are most confident, but you are quiet. Fuku is back on the orb though. Let's see what she can do. Flashed outside though, an early pick not quite granted. Let's continue to creep outside with the use of those smokes. Vilga has been dealing so well with those pushes though. Vilga taken out by Viku. This is then perhaps the next threat up ahead. Ana down in secret. Ready for pushes that are around that corner. Oh, Alina's just not even looking, not even expecting her. There is time for Na'Vi. They've got time to mess around here. That's an important trade for 23. She could keep legs around that A-bomb site and she could have help. Great off angle from her. Great slight correction as well. And Jalka and Viku remain looking for their first. The denials continue. The spray not working. Nothing is working for Na'Vi Javelins. Nigma Galaxy have clean sheets. They are perfect. What do you do? Double digits already up on the table. Na'Vi Javelins have yet to wake up. And Jalka, two for ten. It's a sad state of affairs. And it's going to be hard to keep that high level of focus as well. Trying to make her way down towards B. But Nigma will give them nothing for free. Everything has a cost. And it's normally all of their HP, all of their hopes and dreams. Vika's position is going to be very vital here. Sneaked through that Venlina also up on that B bomb side already. With the bomb on the back, the team's still so scattered. Want to grab more kills before they commit to that bomb plant. And now they lose Letty in the process. Once more, big trouble. But Lina does at least find one more towards the ramp. Bomb is planted. Hunker on the lurk. Let's see how they deal with that. Viku's got a good angle, but the swings in CS2 are a little bit different. Lena now has got to find so many kills here. Entertained on the ramp and denied. Just the one frag. Desperate lunge into the vents by Na'Vi to no avail. Nothing is going their way. Their pick of Nuke. They are currently empty-handed at the last round of the half. They've been chasing dragons with rubber swords. AKs are out once again. No upside to this half thus far. Looking to perhaps make it work from the inside this time around. Outside, yes, there are smokes, but more so as a distraction. We would let someone drop down a vent again. And the rest come to scrunch them from lobby. Anna needs to make sure she backs off. Ooh, still standing though. Legs Lena. She's still alive and kicking. Tori at the same time finds Hanker. But trades are found across the board. Enigma Galaxy is closing in. Still they get off the bomb plant. Joker at least finds one more back. A bit of a lifeline. But how much can they do in a two versus three? Anna just playing parkour around the back. And as that bomb doesn't get planted, the net closes. They are surrounded. The helicopters are out. The torches are on. The dogs are soon to be released also. They've got to find a kill. And when Anna is creeping somewhere with an AWP and you have to shift walk, your chances are low. Nobody at decon. What about the ramp? What about control? What about double doors? Where do you plant the bomb? There are the beeps. 23 having a look and she makes it oh so worse. 24 HP for the two of them. They might just melt like chocolate. 
low. Oh, no, surely not, Anna. No mercy whatsoever from Nigma Galaxy, the final boss for a reason. Small chance for one round for Lina. Out into the open she goes, and who better than Anna to finish off the job? A 12-0 half. Every round, all the rounds from the champion. Nothing for Na'Vi at halftime. Enigma Galaxy are in the cafeteria taking everybody's lunch money. There is no space in the room for them and you. They have forced Na'Vi out of every single round on their T side, on their pick of Nuke. This may be the shortest half we have seen. Enigma Galaxy on the cusp of victory once again, on the cusp of stamping their name on the foreheads of everybody else that was in this tournament. On that T side now, safety in numbers, moving towards the ramp. Letty dropped Fiku, falling back. Four on four for Nigma Galaxy. Nigma Galaxy looking to hunt down for more. Honka to be the casualty of that. But Angelka for the time being says no, keeps them busy at the ramp. Prevents them from at least marching through towards that lower bomb site. There's cavalry already arrived, but they are taken out too. Viku goes down, and that means there's two more players to find. 
Nigma are trying to use their numbers together. They're waiting for these CCs to come through and trying to engage. Lina desperately needs to find something, but 23 with crazy airtime, and Angelka can't do it either. I've got two words for you. Final boss, Nigma Galaxy champions again. They do it. They do the unthinkable. They had the toughest road getting into this tournament, coming here, having all these upsets they have to deal with, all the overtime.